Well, we sit top of the table after five games with the four wins and one draw. But today we face Fizzers, Hull City. Are we in for a tactical masterclass? Probably not because they're 20th in the league. Welcome back, episode 82. Is it 82? Checks notes. 81 of Oldham to Ohm. Yes, and welcome back. We are top of the Premier League after five games. Four wins, one draw, and we are on 13 points. We're only one ahead of second man, Chester City. And today, like I said, we place we face bottom of the table hole who have not actually oh my god, they haven't even scored a goal. Nope. Have not scored a goal, they've conceded eight, which is not too bad when you look at Rotherham conceding 15 and even Spurs conceding 13. Wow, they are also struggling. But let's have a look at the games that we have played so far. We played Arsenal and we beat them 2 1. Yes, great stuff there. 3 1 over Nottingham Forest, 3 1 over Southampton. I want to draw with Manchester United. It was away from home, and Signorni did get sent off late in the game. And we, uh, we managed to hold on there, which was good. Uh, we then had a friendly against Backup. Backup? Backup. Backup. <laughs> uh, 8-0. Just to, you know, get some guys some game time and the like there as well. And so today we face 20th Hull City and we are also going to play Inter in our Champions League phase game. We will also face Braga Wolfsburg, PSG, Bayer Leverkusen, Malmo, Leipzig, and Real Madrid again. So some pretty tough games there, I think, especially with the likes of PSG, Leipzig, Madrid, and Inter. I mean, for the amount of teams that are in here, I feel like we're getting a bum steer most of the time, considering we're the holders, which is weird. But anyway, uh, other than that, I think it's been the window shut. The transfer window did shut, so we probably should cover off what happened there. Um, nothing there, and we 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 did we got three players, three players as the window shut. We got Pierre, Pierre Giorgio Aluni Aluni. We got Aluni in. Uh, he is a uh, Italian wonder kid striker. Uh, Basically, physically amazing. Mentally, he's not too bad. This kid's 20, so, uh, you know, he's fickle, which is unfortunate. But he's like, look at this. Look at this transfer value. It is ridiculous. He is staying on loan at uh, Frozioni. That's not how you say that name at all. Uh, just get a bit more experience and because we can't quite get him in the team at the moment. Um, we are Kamimoto. Kam Kaki. Akimoto, I am nailing names today. Absolutely nailing him. Uh, we had this guy signed uh, originally on a um, uh, pre-contract. I think I showed you the last time. He has come in and, uh, yeah, he is uh, just sitting down in the, uh, the uh, under-21s at the moment. Uh, five caps for Japan. The good thing about him is, yes, he will become home grown at club as well, which is what I'm trying to build here, that those young players in uh, a few years' time. Uh, the last one we got was this gone, but a bit of an interesting one, Carlos Jimenez. Um, he's coming as a squad player. He was on a free. Real Madrid terminated his contract. He was on loan in Chelsea last year and didn't really do too much. Uh, Games-wise, if you have a look down here, um, so he played 18 games for Real Madrid, 14 for Milan, obviously on loan again, um, but a lot of B game experience. We just brought him in. He was, he was on a free. He's come in as a uh, squad player. We couldn't register in Champions League, so he's not happy about that. But um, I just thought behind the striker could be an option if Carney Chocolmenka left. Um, you know, and he can play up front. Um, and, you know, so I thought he's on a free. We can probably get some money for him, you know, later. It's like buying an old rundown house and, like, flipping it you know, or doing some renos. That's kind of what the plan was with that. I don't know what I'm going with that. But anyway, let's get into the team today to face Hull City. Um, I haven't played for a few days, actually, so hopefully this is the correct team. I don't know why Cheju would start if he's not fit. Why is Signori suspended? 
yeah, we've got a lot of unfit players, a lot actually coming back from international duty and the like. So, all right, fine, fine. We'll go with this team. It is Unisingo, Ortega, Richard Guerrero, Kuto, Lafiti, Chedjoy, Beresford, Cunha, um, Adrian, and Jose Carlos. It's very rotated because of that. Um, because of playing hole, and they haven't scored a goal all season, and I thought it'd be good to get some of those young players uh, a bit of game time, and then we get the um, big boys back to the Champions League game. Also, they're tired, so there's that. But let's go. Corner, Cunha. First of the game, first highlight of the game. Oh, and the header from Lafiti. I don't know why he's there, but uh, anyway, maybe we should check those set pieces to see if anything's a bit astray there. Um... What's funny is that Hull have Michael Beareth uh, up front now. We tried to sign him quite a few years ago. I think when we first got promoted, um, we wanted to get him up into the team, but he uh, he actually wanted to go and play for Hull in the championship and come and play for Oldham. And we ended up getting Adam Eder, and uh, look how that one ended. So um, pretty good, I would say. I, I hope we've got enough here to beat Hull City. We should do, even with... A quite, quite rotated team today. Uh, we definitely still have enough uh, quality to get the job done. But Jose Carlos cannot, cannot put that header on target. And uh, and it stays nil all after 20, 30 minutes now. 20, 30 minutes. But I mean, Hull have had one shot not on target. We should have scored a goal, judging by the XG, but we haven't. So here we are. But we do have another highlight, and which obviously is a chance to score a goal, but not with the ball down that end of the pitch. But Hull just do not even seem to be to be bothered to get up this end of the pitch. And we're killing them out wide here because they're playing quite narrow, but seven at the back. Um, it's it, I, I say this and then watch them now just slice us open and score a goal. Thank God that didn't happen. Uh, Benny Kudo keeps asking to, to leave as well. And I keep saying, no, mate, you're really, really important. We really need you here. You, you, you know, your experience is, a great expert, is, is greatly needed in the dressing room. And he says, oh, yeah, sweet. And I'm like, you're good because you're staying here forever, mate. You are locked in here forever. I'm sure now. Not comment on some of this game. It is Benny Kuto now. That man who is staying here for life swings it in, and Jose Carlos just cannot, cannot get any of his headers on target. He is not having the best of games. I mean, overall, not having the best of games at the moment. Cunha now, another corner. Rashad and the goalkeeper saves. We are, we are actually being, um, being schooled here in a FISA masterclass with his flat back seven. And um, we have gone attacking as well, but it's we just cannot get past this stubborn whole defense at the moment we're going to make a few changes here um Ortega, uh, Ortega. um i mean you know Ortega might be one that's going to say he's tired but it is jose carlos who is who is struggling today so we might we might we might bring on z-man uh for jose carlos shift beresford out to the left uh, Carlos Jimenez can have a, a, a debut, a, a, a debut, a debut, um, and then I've shot myself in the foot by not having any more wingers on the bench. That was that, that was good. Uh, Cheju can probably come off. Let's go for Gokken, uh, and we'll we'll just leave it like that at the moment, um, and hopefully one of these three can do something. Because at the moment we are looking. I've made a big joke at the moment about, you know, outclassing Fizza, but we can't get a goal at the moment. I mean, this is, I mean, they have only conceded eight, so, you know, but they haven't scored any. They're obviously trying to go very, very defensive, trying to hit teams on the counter-attack. And they are, you know, Beresford, oh, it's just, they are stifling our attack today, but... um. XG over two. An XG over two. What's happened here? Benny Kuto's cotton injury. Brilliant. Um, we'll bring on Vermeulen. And 
of Beresford's not playing good up. I don't know what to do now. Rust on a cracker. Um, oh, decisions, decisions, decisions. Right. Um, Bubakar Cisse is going to come on for um, Beresford and he will swap with Jimenez. This is what I get for rotating this team heavily. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna draw nil all with last place the whole city. And after making such a big song and dance about it, I can't. I mean, I can't believe we're gonna draw nil all. I mean, the RXG is through the bloody roof, but we just we just can't seem to get through. We just can't seem to get through. I mean, like I said, it's not our strongest team. We've got a lot of tired players, but but we still should have the quality to beat these guys. And I'm starting to worry at this point that it may, they may get lucky and snatch one here in the last five, ten minutes or whatever's left, but we're on the ball now, like, baby, him and he's at the bloody post, how many times have we hit the sorting post today? <sighs> it's not going to be our day. Oh, come on. There's a penalty. Oh, we, they've given away, oh, thank God, Hull given away a penalty in, like, the last two minutes. Unless it's, it's, a, it's been awarded. Who's going to be taking this, actually? I'm not sure. Who is that? Is that Jimenez? I don't want to click on him. I don't want to curse it. It is Jimenez. He scored on debut. Wow. That, I mean, that was... If the goalkeeper went the right way, but that was just... Just enough. We're just going to... Okay, we'll skip that. We probably don't even have time to drop this back down a positive. There it is, full time. Wow. Look at that XG. 3.5. Mad Hermanson is a... Uh, he was a beast in the back of the net. The rest of them didn't do much. We had to, had to get a penalty in the 96th minute to get past hole, but not a shot on target. They're obviously just really trying to uh, stifle teams, but they're not scoring either, so... It's going to be a long, tough season for Hull. We'll see how bad this injury is for Benny Kuto. Yeah, I'm going to say it was a bit of a let-off, guys, because we weren't at our best. Benny Kuto, a broken toe. He is out for eight weeks. Eminem, scoring on his debut and ending his goal drag. He went 24 matches without a goal. Anyway, I mean, he... Really taking 13. All right, he's not too bad, I guess, but it's good Good to see him score a goal on his debut. That's that's nice to see. Right. Off the Inter in a couple of days. Are we at Inter? Yes, we are. We're going to the San Siro. I'll see you there. Right, here we are back for the Inter game. Uh, we are almost at full strength. Uh, David Hasek uh, is on the bench. Not quite fully fit, um, but apart from him, it is all guns are blazing. Eunice, Musso, Rashad, Guerrero, Lanz, Lafiti, Signorni, Albert's on the left. Chucklemaker's going to go in that. Get a striker roll. Sorensen and Bruce Ball up front. Um, no penalty hero him there today. Obviously, he is not registered, but here we are. I think we've got enough to be into today. Yes, we're away, um, but, you know, I back, us, I back us all the time, even against Hull. And here we are, first highlight in the uh, first five minutes. Uh, into in the yellow, in the yellow. That's an odd home kit that they're in yellow and we're in a blue. Okay, we're whatever. Must oh Frimpong, great save from Eunice there. Just having a look at the Inter team, it looks it looks pretty decent. They've got some good players. Charles de Caleri, Latour Martinez is still here. Mariba, Barella, Lucanets, Rodri, Frimpong. Stoney, though he must be getting on his 33. And Bamba, I don't know yet. Uh, I don't know him. Antonio Silva. Have they got a whole team of... A whole team of real people? That's crazy. Unana on the bench. Interesting. Unana, I suppose he's 36, but they are also going uh, very, very defensive as well, as you can see. Just 
you know, I mean, flatback six, I guess, whereas, you know, Hull had the flatback seven. It's half time for the one highlight. We've done nothing. I mean, we'll point the finger. If we get a goal, I make us favourites. What a boring first half that was. Uh, we'll shout the boys to demand some more. Uh, hopefully, we've got enough here to get past Inter. I'm assuming they're doing pretty well in Syria. Ah, not much happening in this game at all. We're gonna we're gonna go attacking, and I'm gonna yell at yell at them because six five minutes of the clock. Wow, I've really really got you guys back for an absolute cracking. Cracking games today. A 1 0 win over the bottom of the table hole where we need a penalty to win. And a so far 70 minutes into this game against Inter, and we have had one highlight. Ugh. Right. Um, all right, Sorensen, we, we're going to make a host of changes here. An absolute host. Um, I mean, just all attacking changes because what else is going to happen? Um, with some tired players there. There's four. Is four enough? Do we need to do any more? We're not going to really do too much of these. I guess Chuck or Menka could come off. Um, and we could. Oh, let's get. Let's go. Look at that. The whole front four changed. Point the finger. There's still 20 odd minutes left in the game. If we were to get an injury here, it could be costly, but I'm putting all my eggs into one basket. I am going to demand some more, and hopefully something happens. Oh, we've got a highlight. That's I guess that's something, and we've got the ball. Moose now using losing it to De Kevalleri and um and Inter now. They're gonna score here, aren't they? Luca Nets now crosses it in, blocks in Yorni, gets it away. Jose Carlos chasing Frimpong down, but he can't get in. Bamba now. Danilo. Uh, obviously, Inter have made a few changes here. Some of these names weren't in Stalin lineup. Galvez mix that ball. We go forward to Beresford, who finds the captain. Moves around on the right. That's a great ball. Beresford. Oh, Jose Carlos. The goalkeeper has made a great save. That was an absolutely cracking save from the goalkeeper there. Cheju now with the corner. Got a little bit... I feel like we've got a little bit here. We should definitely, if we can, encourage the boys after that because we have looked good. Jose Carlos now with a free kick. Not in a bad position. He's just wide. He's just wide. Just wide. Oh, I feel like that cross from Galvez, that should have been a um that should have been a goal. Anyway, it's gonna finish nil all. So um Wow, what an episode. episode? Well, I'm not sure it's Oldham holding into a draw. Um, I don't know about that. I mean, they did have a better... It was a pretty even game, but um, what what an absolute goal glut of an episode that has been. Just just the one goal and a penalty at <laughs> that. Uh, it was our new signing, Carlos Jimenez, though, so um, great. Maybe I'll pick two games. I thought there'd be some goals in the whole game. I honestly thought there'd be some goals in this whole game. Uh, maybe maybe we come back against uh, like a Rotherham or Middlesbrough and try and uh, get a few there, but that is a is a is a long way off. But like I said, I'm going to try and get through some games. The PSG does look enticing, but is that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine? Well, nine games away. That's quite a bit. Hmm. Hmm. Wolfsburg's interesting too. Maybe we skip the PSG. Maybe we go like Newcastle, where are they? They're third, Wolfsburg, Brighton. I don't know. I'm thinking Wolfsburg. I am liking that. They are top at the moment. Look at that. They oh, they smashed Valencia 5-1. Look at that. We will we will definitely come back to the Wolfsburg game, I think. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed that episode. If you're not yet subscribed, uh, if you could, it would mean a lot to me. Smash the like as well, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.